What's up YouTube? Corey here from Corey's Custom Installs. Today I'm actually excited to be bringing you this video because it marks the beginning of the actual install. Today I'm going to be showing you how to get the 8 inch mid base into the door going up from the 6.9. So I'm not going to hold the tools up because there's a lot of them. I'm going to take a photo and list them off by text and I'll put that into the video. So without further ado, let's get down and I'll give you a close up of how to actually do this. Okay guys, so we're down here at the work table. Um, what you're gonna do, you're gonna take your speaker grill piece from the previous video I showed you how to remove the actual door panel so you're gonna take your grill piece and we need to remove the actual grill from it so you could probably do this with a uh, Dremel but it's going to be the plastics really soft and I don't want to actually mark up this outer ring of the speaker so I just use a sharp knife so you're gonna take, I'm using carbide bits in here too. The plastic is soft. It's actually pretty easy to do. So you're just gonna take your knife, go on one of the holes here at the edge of the speaker, and you're gonna push through and rock your knife back and forth. And you're gonna get through the speaker and do that over and over again until you're all the way through. I'm going to speed this video up so you guys don't have to actually see all of these. So I'll meet you at the next step. Okay guys, so coming back in, regular motion now. Let's remove the actual rest of the speaker grill. So it's pretty easy, let's work your way around and then it comes out just like so. So after that, we got all these nubbies because you can't, I don't, you might be able to cut a little bit closer but I just sand them off, clean it up so it looks nice. But as you see, you just kind of follow the holes and it makes a cut path for you. So there's that part done, uh, not done yet, but the step is done. So I will change camera locations now and bring you to my sanding area. Okay, so we're down at my sanding area now. I've got my Dremel hooked up. I have 80 grit, uh, an 80 grit drum on here. So you're gonna turn your Dremel on to low. If you go any higher, it's going to actually melt the plastic. You don't want it to melt the plastic. You want it to sand the plastic away. So we're just going to take your speaker ring now. Make sure you're wearing eye protection. This throws it up at you, kind of. So you're going to just take your speaker ring. And you're going to sand these snubs away until it's smooth. Try not to hit the inner edge here. I'm gonna go a little bit faster. Okay, so here's the sanding. First step, you can't really see the finish there. There we go. So that's what a e grit does. I'm gonna hit it with the 120 and the 220 still. So I'm gonna change my sanding disc and then go over it with the 120. And then the 220 is gonna be hand sanded with just some sandpaper. Okay, so I've changed my 
wheel on the Dremel to 120 grit flat disc right now. I'm just going to do another round of sanding to smooth it out. And then we're going to hit it with the 220. Just a little piece of hand paper to smooth it out for a final smoothing. So, let's see if we can get this. You can't really see it. There we go. So, it's still a little bit. Doesn't get that much better with the 220. It's just about smoothing it out. The 120 actually melts the plastic a little bit, no matter what speed you're going at. And I think the melting actually gives it a little bit of a polish. So, now I'm just going to hit it with... The 220 and we'll call it good. It's washing off all of this sanded plastic. It's all powdery with the 220. So after you do that, we're gonna dry it off. Let's grab a small rag. Pull off any leftover hangings you get some on the bottom you get a little bit of a burr there on the bottom from the sanding process just go around with your fingers or you can actually just take your knife that you used previously go on the inside I just like to actually scrape you don't have to if you cut you might gouge it so I'll see if I can get this let this take your knife Kind of, it puts a small chamfer on the edge. You can see the little pieces coming off. You can still see that it's slightly, you could probably go smoother if you kept going with the finer grit sandpaper. Eventually, you're going to get a polished look. Um, you don't even see this inside edge when you put the speaker in anyway, so I just don't want it to damage the speaker if the cone's moving near the edge there, so smooth it out as best as you can, honestly, on the door. That's what it's going to look like. The next step now is to take your speaker, and we're going to put the speaker down. Don't want metal shavings or anything on it. So, if you see here, these little clips are in the way. And they won't go on. The back ones do. The front ones don't. So what you have to do next, get rid of the speaker. Take out your knife again. And you're going to go on these. You're going to take your knife. Let's make sure this is in camera. Yeah. Okay, so take your knife, go on the halfway point on this clip, and you're gonna cut through it. Cut the clip away. That little part pops off. Set these aside. You only need one of them. You, if they come off completely, you're gonna need to super glue them back on. And we also have to fill up the back with high temperature hot glue or even epoxy would probably work. They just 
without the full ring there, they don't put the same amount of pressure onto the door. So then you turn it. Same thing. Halfway. And cut through. Pops away. Back one can go away. Turn it. Half, the halfway mark is actually, there's a small, you can see a line that's in the, from the molding. It's a good guide. This, I, you know, I'll show you the line in a second. So I'm judging the halfway mark as this groove in here. Same thing on this side. You won't be able to see this one. And then you're going to go on the inside. See if this is visible. And you're going gonna, gonna to come up here to the camera. I won't be able to cut it here, but you're going to take your knife and you're just going to cut off down at the, down to here. Cut it about there. I just want to cut them off. Cut them off like that. This one came off, so I'm gonna have to glue it back on. Uh, some super glue will fix that. So cut the rest, do the same step to the rest of those now. After you have those off, we're going to grab our speaker again. Now, fits over. So there, that's that step comp uh, not completed yet. We're also... Um, you got hot glue. I'll do that later at the end. I'll show you how to hot glue and super glue those into position. So that's this for this piece. Now for the door panel, it's not going to fit into the the magnet can't can't clear this backing part where the wire channel is so you're gonna take your knife again and you're gonna follow the line this rod here on the outside where it meets you can see a line we're gonna cut across that line all the way to here until it comes off So you're just going to scribe it. I'm actually, I'm going to go a little bit lower. I'm just going to use this edge here as a line. So this part, you just want to mark it first. I'm 
not cutting all the way through yet. Just going to get a nice line across here. And at the back here. Just go across with your knife. And then you repeat over and over again until you're almost through. Don't try to cut through it all the way. It's not going to work. You're just going to scribe slowly. Probably five or six times and you should get through it. Speeding it up now. Once you're through a couple of swipes, you should be able to now drive the knife through it. It's got to follow the line nicely. Make sure when you're doing this, you're pushing away from yourself up to this area, because this is the thickest. And then you're going to have to come on from... Make sure this is still, you can't, where am I? And then from here, take your knife on this side, same thing. push through it at that scribe line. It's not deep enough on this side yet. So, a couple more sweeps. Let's try this again. And that part comes off. Here's the part. Don't throw this away. We're actually going to use this as a screw point for the speaker. Now the next step. Grab the speaker again. So you got your speaker and your magnet. Hold it up on the bottom here. And make sure that there's enough room on this cutout to clear it. So if we turn the door over. Take your speaker, drop it in here. We also have to trim away this part because it doesn't, the speaker doesn't sit flat. But for now, let's just test our spacing out. So you want this to go on. Grab your speaker again, turn it, snap those in. This side isn't going to go down yet because you still have to clear away material under here for it to sit flat. You just need to do this for the location. So once you have that, hold your speaker into the door. Remove the grill. And let go of the speaker. Roughly where it's going to sit. 
then you're going to take a pen or a marker and this area here is what's impeding. Just take your pen, mark out along the edge of the speaker. Speaker's out. And we're cutting again. So you just want to now trace this line slowly that you just traced on here. Cut down there. You're also going to need to cut along this edge here. And then down on this line. And then come on this side. Also, you're going to want to cut from here over. This whole plastic chunk has to come out. And that's where that other piece comes in. We're going to fiberglass it to the back as a mounting point for the screws in the speaker. So now let's do the same steps as before. Scribe on this until you get through. And I'll speed it up. glued on. Once you get through, pull it off and that part you can dispose of. Continue on on this piece. You got a ledge now so it's easier. You can apply more pressure. That piece comes out. Grab your speaker again. fits in the door, closes up nice. Pull this out. So your next thing you're gonna do also put the speaker how you want it in the door so I want my logo to be even I don't like when people throw them in half at half like that so we're just gonna put straight to where the door is and you can find out where this hole is so we're also gonna come up here a bit put it in the line that you just did and see over here so you line it up check it it's visually eye it up where this is gonna go that looks good so now you're gonna take your drill same size for your screws that you need and we're gonna drill the hole through and mark it 
Take your speaker out. Now you're gonna drill through the hole. So. To burr the hole. Now, you need a small sc screw for this. The smaller side has to go on this side. So you're gonna flip it up from the back. Yeah, burn there. Okay, so you get the screw through. Come back to this side. Take your washer and your nut and your speaker. Drop your speaker on to where it's gonna go. Put your washer on and put your dot on. Put your nut on and screw from the back. It's a tight fit in there, so you're gonna grab some needle nose pliers. Hold on to the screw. Tighten the screw and nut, and then we are going to take 
Push your speaker up. Take your ring again. to where you want it. Flip the whole assembly over. I'll put you guys back in camera in a second. Forgot to put the screw in. I'm gonna put the screw in. Push this down. Push it so the speaker's straight. I got the position on the bottom. Note the position. Okay, so after you got it flipped over, you're going to take this piece. It's a little bit too long, so we're going to cut off probably three quarters of an inch here. So you slice that bit off. Test the fit. That's what you want. You want to sit there and line up the screw. It's the screw. We'll push the screw through and tighten it with a nut to this on the back. Then we're gonna glue this in location, rough it up with some sandpaper, and then we'll get some fiberglass going. I have to prepare for that though. Okay, so I've got that screw in and the nut in. Hold it up. You can see there, that piece is there. So now what we need to do is take your grill again. We're gonna pop it on. Grill back on. Slide it to where you want the speaker. So this, and now I gotta come this way. Push your speaker around. I'm actually hitting. I need to come up higher, so I'm going to have to trim this section right here out a bit so I can get it to go this way more, because this right here, this gap, the magnet's supposed to sit in there more. Okay, so once you know where your speaker is going to go, you're going to hold it. I'm higher into this gap now, so my speaker's centered. You're going to take your So now we're on camera. I'm just going to check the speaker location again before I do this. It looks good. So 
And then you're going to take your hot glue gun. You're going to hot glue. Pump a lot in there. You'll want to pump a lot in here. This is this to hold it. So pump all that hot glue in. And we'll let it harden. So the hot glue's in there. That's going to hold the plastic where you want it for the next step. We have to glue this to the actual door so it doesn't come off. I'm going to put some more here actually. A little bit right there too. Okay, so remove your speaker from it. Now I'm gonna get some 80 grit sandpaper here. And we just gotta sand wherever you want your fiberglass to attach to or it's not gonna stick. So you're just gonna sand here. Sand against this piece. Against here too. Just gonna mark it up so this fiberglass has something to stick to. won't stick to smooth surfaces. So after you get your fiberglass to where you want it, you're going to take your resin and mix a small amount. Normally we do this with uh, a brush, but I'm just going to kind of dab it in there and saturate everything because I'm actually out of chip brushes. So... It's still going to work, it's just, it's not going to be 100%. <clears throat> so pour your guessing about an ounce fiberglass resin into here. I'm going to go turn on my exhaust fan in a second too. So pour the amount of... Uh, fiberglass that you need into there and then we're going to add our hardener and we're going to put it into there we're just going to pour it on top of the fiberglass and then we're going to take my dabby tool to just kind of saturate everything and press it up against the walls and it will work just as well as a brush if this is something visible, I'd be using a brush and you'd lay down a layer of resin and then put the fiberglass on and lay over top of it. So now I'm just going to turn on my exhaust fan and then we'll add the hardener to that.
fiberglass is our, uh, all hardened now. I pre-drilled the hole where my speaker is going to sit. Uh, it's actually a little bit off because I didn't have this perfect. Ideally, you want this old wire, wire channel where the hole is going to be. Uh, it doesn't really matter, actually. So I've put the screw in. This level here to this level is not even, so I've added a nut to this side of the screw when I put it on. So now what you're going to do, after you flip your door over and you have it set up, you're going to take your speaker and drop it on into position. So screw, washer, put that on, and then drop it in, and we're all straight, and then another washer, and a nut onto here and you're not over here so the way I have this set up it unfortunately we can't bolt the speaker in with the door assembled I already have my speaker connection soldered into the vehicle so all that's left after this is to add the hot glue to the back of the clips on the panel so it stays snapped down and then reassemble the door and we're completed. And then screw the other side down. Go back to this side. We're gonna tighten this screw all the way now. to this side, tighten this all the way, once that's tightened, Okay, so the final step of this, I, it was extremely hard to get on camera due to the positioning of this, but you just take your hot glue gun and you fill up behind these clips. See if I can even show you one of these. So you fill up behind the clip there. You can see the hot glue. Just fill up behind the clip so it puts pressure back onto it and it will snap into the door if you don't do that it doesn't sit down on the speaker it won't stay clipped to the door so after you have those filled up now all you have to do is reinstall your grill snap it into position snap your clips into position and then now we are complete Reassemble your door back onto the Jeep and connect your speaker wires and that's how you get the 8 into where the 6-9 should be. As always, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed what you saw, rate, subscribe, and drop a comment. See you guys later.